I learned something on a flight one time. A woman sitting right next to me was breastfeeding a kid. Hey, I'm an adult. I can handle that. She looked at me and said, there's nothing sexual about this. I said, you move that goddamn kid in there, going to be. I'll show him some technique here, mama. Make room for daddy. Security came back and I get to something. I said, yeah, I'm going to have whatever this kid's having right here. Make mine a double. Flying's a bitch. You know, sometimes you got to go through airports. In Los Angeles, we used to have the Hare Krishna. Did they ever have any of those here? God, I hate them fucking people. <laughs> Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. Shut up! <laughs> They're always going, well, can we have some money? I said, yeah, if you learn another fucking song. <laughs> yes. God, I hate you. Any Catholics here tonight? Huh? I don't know because you're going to hate this shit. <laughs> Do you about the Catholic priest was walking around downtown? A couple of hookers came up to him. Said, hey, Father, how about some head? 50 bucks. Didn't know what they're talking about. He goes back to the parish. He says, Mother Superior, I want to ask you a question. He says, what's head? She says, 50 bucks. She's like downtown. <laughs> If you're Catholic, you got to forgive me. <laughs> Do you about the Jewish kid walked up to his dad and said, Hey, Dad, can I borrow 50 bucks? His dad said, 40 bucks? Where in the hell am I going to get 30 bucks? What do you need 20 bucks for? <laughs> you know the one religious sect of group I really hate? The Jehovah's Witnesses. I hate them fucking people. I can say that. What the hell are they going to be doing in here? We're having fun. You know? They always come around like 9 o'clock in the goddamn morning. Want to take me to heaven. And I'm up all night trying to go to hell. Think about heaven for a second. No sex, no drugs, no booze, no rock and roll. Sounds like hell to me. It's a true story. They came to my house one morning in Los Angeles, got my ass out of bed. I was laying there sleeping all coked up, dreaming I'm awake. And they ran that shit by me for about an hour. Then they left and there was pamphlets all over the floor. Looked like Rand McNally threw up. And I made myself a promise that day. I said, the next time they come to my house, I'm going to get rid of them once and for all. You know how good it is in the morning? Come on, it. Morning. (laughs) You know, honey, wake up, honey. (laughs) I'm making a tent here. (laughs) Well, I'm laying in bed with my lady one morning, and we are hammering out some problems. (laughs) All of a sudden, the front door right here. Hey, I don't care, man. I'm in the back of the house trying to pull the same shit. But they're persistent, boy. Piss me off. I jump out of bed and I walk up to the front door and I open the curtain just a little bit because I'm naked. And I look out there and there's these two Jehovah's Witnesses. True story. I said to myself, folks, <laughs> this is your day. There was two of them. There's this kid with terminal acne. Looked like he'd been bobbing for french fry. And this woman with support holes all the way to her goddamn eyebrows. Well, I'm standing there naked. I got me a limp dick and an attitude. So I just opened the door and said, hey, how you doing? Ever seen one of these up close? They went away. And they never came back either. Well, I think she cruised by the house a couple of times later that that's another story there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to talk about sex for a minute, you know. Yeah. Oh, I know you're looking at me and you're saying, shit, he don't get much. <laughs> well, you're wrong. 
And I don't get any. <laughs> and I'm so goddamn horny the crack of dawn ain't safe. You know what I mean? <laughs> Masturbation is very tough to talk about. As soon as I bring it up, I realize I'm the only person ever did. <laughs> Women get real saintly, man. They go, no, no, no. Bullshit, girls. I've seen you on them bicycles, boy. <laughs> Going to the gravel road. <laughs> Men get real macho. They go, no, wait, buddy. Ain't no hair on my palms. Take a look here. Yep, 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 yep. I'm getting laid before I was born. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Bullshit, ladies. You got one of these bums laying around your house on a Saturday afternoon watching the ball game, got a Budweiser, he's in his underwear. Where's his other hand at, huh? <laughs> and they're sorting the family jewels. <laughs> Men are always saying, come on, baby, touch it. Come on, touch it. Shit, if we let go of the son, bitch, they might. <laughs> <laughs> Some more of a fixation we got there. Yeah. See, masturbation is tough for anybody to deal with. In my opinion, it's a normal human response to a normal human stimulus. I'm sorry. If my dick gets hard and my woman ain't home, <laughs> I'll work something out. <laughs> Call me up, say, what are you doing? I say, leave me alone, man. I'm putting the wrinkles back in my dick. <laughs> And it ain't dirty either. I used to do it in the shower. That was the best place all the evidence went. That down the drain. I remember when I was a kid boy, I was in there one day just lathering up. I mean, I had me a grip, boy. Bubbles were flying. And my mom caught me. Let me tell you, that'll shrivel up your shower real quick. She said, if you don't stop that young man, you're going to go blind. Whoa. I said, Mama, this shit feels pretty good, and I never want to be an airline pilot anyhow. I figured, what the hell? They gave it to me. I'm just shining it up, make it look good. My dick, my soap, I'll wash it fast as I want. If we weren't supposed to masturbate, God would have given us little short arms, I guess, in the first place. Wouldn't be able to reach any of the good shit. Oh, no. Of course, the only thing wrong with masturbating in the shower is every time it rains now, I get a hard on. <laughs> One clap of thunder, oh shit, hey, how are you? <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> Condoms. Not condos. Condoms. You know, condoms, the things you stick your dick in. You stick your dick in a condo, <laughs> you better know somebody. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. <laughs> he is Johnny. God, man, they're going to do it to us. I'm going to advertise them. Women for years have put up with that negative advertisement about their personal functions. That fucking feminine hygiene commercial. God, I hate them fucking things. <laughs> Do you need all that shit, women? They make like ten different things for the same fucking function. Don't that piss you women off? Don't it bother you? They put your business out in the street like that. Huh? They don't do it to men, do they? Have you ever seen them go, hey, your dick stank? How that? <laughs> Not once. But they have the audacity to talk about you like you smell bad. <laughs> Treat you like you're stupid, like it's inconceivable. You have the style, grace, and intelligence to take care of personal hygiene. Without Dow Chemical bringing out a 55-gallon barrel of this shit. <laughs> Look, honey, it's new douche in the drum here. <laughs> Industrial strength for that woman on the move. Soap operas are the worst. They're one long feminine hygiene commercial. And they sell everything. Time release deodorants. Jesus Christ, I expect to see women walking down the street. Boom! It's like a breath of fresh air there. And I'm not the brightest son of a bitch in the world, but disposable douche. Who's saving this shit? 
You got a closet full at home. I want to know. <laughs> Kathy Rigby, I hate this bitch. <laughs> this woman's obsessed with sharing her period with us. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Kathy. I don't get enough of that shit at home. <laughs> You can flip it out every 10 minutes. Just Kathy out there selling something. You know, think she'd have bled to death by now. <laughs> you can't have her to the house. Say, honey, Kathy's going to be here. Better put some paper down here on the floor. <laughs> Might want to order a couple gallons of plasma too, baby. I don't want that bitch to die at my house. Hook her up to an IV and toss her ass in a cab. Men, we know women have a period, don't we? Yes, sir. You bet your sweet fucking ass. And if we ever forget, they'll remind us. You can take that to the bank. I wasn't trying to deposit it, but... Man. There'll be something like this, though, guys, when they remind us. Morning, honey. Honey, what's your age, asshole? <laughs> Better make them the goal this morning, honey. I said scramble once and still got the skillet mark right here. She says, here, scramble this, fat ass. Uh, <laughs> I've been married twice. Once severely. <laughs> My second wife, this is the woman that taught me how come divorces are so expensive. They're fucking worth it. Well, laugh it up, guys. Go to divorce court. Try to own some shit walking out of there. You'll be lucky you got a clear title of them hush puppies you're wearing. They got metal detectors at the courtroom door. You're walking out of there. And he's got a quarter. He's got a quarter. I was going to call a friend. You took my fucking job. You don't have any friends, pal. Your wife got me. I ain't never had a period. I ain't. I've had genital pain, no goddamn. I ain't never once had a period, but by God, on occasion, I've zipped my dick in my zipper. That shit hurts, don't it, boy? That's something you only do once, right, fellas? Yeah, buddy. Ladies, you think you can't teach a man a trick that he'll remember the rest of his fucking life? Here's one. Man does that once the rest of his life. A little light bulb comes on the back of his head. And a little voice goes, Danger, Will Robinson. Tuck, 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 tuck. <laughs> Boy, that first time, guys, it's really a motherfucker, ain't it? <laughs> You get in the bathroom, the preacher's a swinger. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Whoa! Mama! And you ain't gonna pull that zipper back down, are you, boys? And what, run to the end of my dick, the hamburger helper? I don't think so. You're standing in that bathroom, oh, Annie M, Annie M! Toto, I wanna go home! And then a buddy will come in and see Bobby, ouch, 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 yeah. So I ain't gonna touch your dick, man. Men don't touch other men's dicks. Read my lips. No. You don't get done playing ball with a bunch of guys getting his yarn and say, hey, Bobby, let me look at that thing. As a matter of fact, I think outside of every men's room in this country, every men's locker room, ought to be a picture of a dick hanging down, a hand reaching up, big red circle with a slash to it. We'll do things for our woman, guys. We won't do for our own mom. 